Hey guys, Asap here, and welcome to uh, PHP tutorial number two. Um, we're just going to be covering comments in this tutorial. Um, and if I sound like I'm shivering or something, it's because I drank a shitload of coke recently. And I am really hyper now, so uh, yeah. It's not because I'm nervous, although I am slightly nervous. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So uh, let's actually get on to the tutorial, shall we? Um, basically, before we start, I, I just want to tell everyone I've made myself a cool little uh, template just so everything looks nice when I run everything. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm going to be using. Um, also, in the previous tutorial, I'm not sure if it's happened again in this tutorial. I tested it to see if it did, but it didn't, so uh, I'm hoping it's not. But in the previous tutorial, uh, when I watched it over, all the colors, uh, well not all of them, I think just blue and yellow, they were all reversed. Um, oh, and red as well. Uh, blue, yellow, red were all reversed, so uh, they were complete opposites. Um, and it didn't really affect anything, to be honest, because uh, you could still read all the code uh, and stuff. But uh, if you're thinking, hey, wait a minute, my text editor isn't highlighting that the same way as it is with him, uh, don't worry about that. Um, because really, my PHP tags, they weren't highlighted blue, they were highlighted red like they are here. And uh, the print com command was highlighted blue and not red for me, okay? So, um, and also the echo command as well. So don't worry about that stuff, okay? Anyways, what are comments? Comments are purely for um, us humans, okay? They are completely ignored by PHP. Um, the reason we have comments is because if you've got a really big script, you might want to add comments to, so when you come back to it, you at key parts in the script, you've got stuff telling you what actually happens, so you don't have to reread the whole script all over again every time you come back to it, because you've got little comments telling you what each little crucial bit does, uh, and you can sort of decipher it from there. Uh, we've got two types of comments, and um, the first type is a single line comment, which can be made in two ways. Okay, the first way is to t uh, type a hash like this, and then you can type a comment. Okay, um, now because this is only a single line comment, if we try and put something on a an on another line, it will be considered a PHP command, and it won't work. If we just um, open up localhost, okay, navigate to our folder, we can see we've got a pass error on line twelve. Uh, that's the line just above this uh, thing which is actually causing the pass error and that's because um, this isn't a comment this it, it's con it basically what you're doing here is you're telling is you're trying to run a command which is C question mark consider a PHP command um, and that command does not exist in PHP so if we take that away press F5 and run it everything looks fine and we, nothing is outputted remember because comments don't have any effect on PHP they're purely for us humans the second way of making that single line comment is with the double forward slash and then you just type your comment and the third way is with uh, multi-line comments to make a multi-line comment you open it with a forward slash and an asterisk which is shift plus eight for me and close it with the opposite of that which is an asterisk and then a forward slash okay and everything in between these opening and closing bits here's the opening one here's the closing one is considered a comment you can see all this none of it is highlighted um, black as if it's supposed to be a PHP command it's all highlighted green which um, shows it's a comment okay um, quick tutorial on comments and that's over now